Hello, this presentation will address Ohio's third grade reading guarantee and the specific implications for Euclid City School students. My name is Kimberly Allen, Assistant Superintendent. And I'm Heather Miller, Director of Curriculum and Instruction. We appreciate you taking the time to view our presentation. The third grade reading guarantee refers to Senate Bill 316 that was passed in June of 2012. This law was enacted to ensure that all students can read by the end of their third grade year. The ability to read is the foundation of learning. We know from experience that children who are not reading at third grade level by the end of grade three will be likely to have trouble learning in all classroom subjects in higher grades. These young students tend to fall behind in school, becoming frustrated and often misbehaving in the classroom, which limits their learning even more. Time to help these students catch up. Ohio's third grade reading guarantee provides help and support to ensure that each struggling student is on track for reading success by the end of grade three. It ensures that every struggling reader gets the support he or she needs to be able to learn and achieve. Here's works. In kindergarten through grade three, all children will be evaluated to determine if they are reading as well as they should be. It's like a reading wellness check for each child. If a child appears to be falling behind in reading, the school will immediately begin working with the parents to create a remedy, a reading improvement that will restore the child's reading health. This plan will address each student's unique reading problems, and the school will monitor the plan continually to make sure the student's reading is improving. The school district also will keep working with the student's parents or guardians so they can support the plan at home as their child progresses toward third grade. Except for students with special circumstances, third graders must then meet a minimum score on the state reading test to move on to the fourth grade. If a student remains in the third grade, the school must provide a high-performing reading teacher and 90 minutes of reading instruction during each school day. A student can still take fourth grade courses in all other subjects if he or she is ready. And the school district can move a student from grade three to grade four in the middle of the year if the student's reading improves. So how will this work if your child needs help? Studies on Florida's version of the third grade reading guarantee show that students who remained in the third grade and received intensive reading instruction improved dramatically in overall school performance in the years following, looking to achieve the same results here in Ohio. We know that parents feel responsible for helping their child succeed in school. Talk to your school today about its plan for improving your child's reading abilities. Ask how you can be involved and how you can support your child at home. Together, we can prepare all of our young readers for a bright future. Have a question? Send it to thirdgradeguarantee at education.ohio.gov. There are several components to the law that we are going to be implementing here in Euclid. Districts are required to provide early intervention and support, administer reading diagnostics, implement reading improvement and monitoring plans, also called RIMPs. There are teacher credentials. Students will be retained in third grade if they do not meet the required cut score, and we have an obligation to report this data to the state. We will use a variety of, assess of assessments to identify which students are on track or off track. We use Ames Web Reading Assessments, partnered with the State OAA, or Ohio Achievement Assessment in Reading, to determine if your child is on or off track. The Ames Web Assessment is given at least three times each year, September, January, and May, and the OAA is given in October and April. When we look at those, that data, we will look at cut scores or the minimum score required for a student to be considered on, tra on track. The OAA cut score was determined by the state and that score is 392 or above. And the Ames Web score changes as students should become more skillful as the year passes through. And so fall score would be 77, a winter score of 105, 
or a spring score of 119 would be required for a student to be considered on track. So what happens if my child is not on track? If your child scores below the cut score during any of those testing windows, you will be notified by the district in writing. Once that happens, your child will also be placed on a reading improvement monitoring plan, also known as a RIMP. These plans are individual and they will provide targeted interventions for your child. My child didn't pass. Now what? So if your child does not get a score of 392 on that OAA in the fall or in the spring of the third grade year, the consequence is that that child will not be able to be promoted into the fourth grade for reading only until proficiency score is attained. That means multiple opportunities for the student to be reassessed throughout that school year. A summer intervention program will also be available for Euclid students who are not on track and that will exist this particular summer from July 21st through August 15th. And at the end of the summer program, students will be given an opportunity to take the OAA equivalency test so that they can be promoted at the end of the summer going right into fourth grade reading along with their other content areas. If summer intervention still does not work, your child will have an opportunity to be promoted to fourth grade for all subjects except for reading. At that point, they will go to a different reading teacher that will focus on third grade reading skills and also the fourth grade reading curriculum so that they don't fall behind. Proficiency checks or an OAA alternative will be given at the end of each quarter and that will hopefully allow your child to demonstrate proficiency during the year. Mid-year promotions will be possible based on those quarterly OAA equivalents. If your child demonstrates proficiency in third grade reading at some point during the fourth grade year, they will then be moved to the fourth grade reading program at that time. They will be in fourth grade for all other content areas. As we all know, reading is a fundamental key to your child's success in school and in the future. It is extremely important that you encourage reading at home and work with your child whenever possible. Your teachers will give you a few ideas of how you could work with your child from home. The Ohio Department of Education posts all new information related to this and other state initiatives at www.education.ohio.gov. ODE also uses the following social media sources to connect educators and parents across the state. Your teachers are available to answer specific questions about how this information affects you and your child. If you have additional questions, please feel free to contact me, Kimberly Allen, at 216-797-2922 or Heather at 216 797-2980.